Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So Kabam has committed to changing three champions. Three champions are going to be getting reworked. Now, uh, I believe War Machine is the only one that's getting an overhaul, complete overhaul. He didn't have that much in his kit, so it makes sense. Uh, the other two are Ebony Maw and Ultron. And I have all three of these as six stars. So I'm very excited to see what they're going to do. Uh, but we're going to go over all three of them in this video. All right. So first up, we've got War Machine. Uh, and like I said, I believe that's the overhaul. Let's see here. All right. About War Machine. You guys can read that on your own. Uh, there are his base stats. Six star rank three. Okay. So he's got a decent uh, prestige. Interesting. Uh, let's see, the five star. Okay, good attack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, and I have not played with these at all. We're just looking at uh, on paper what it looks like here. You know, he's, he's tech, still going to be tech. Basic abilities, armor, suppression, rupture, and armor break. Interesting. All right, War Machine is back with an all new arsenal of tools ready to fight brand new pre-fight abilities yes i said pre-fight abilities war machine a tech he's gonna have pre-fight abilities okay that's gonna juice him up or his other tech teammates Woo -hoo -hoo. that's already exciting right all right uh let's see uh when you're using war machine yourself stack up armor breaks Get some fury from your special three and deal some great damage. Over time, damage with uh, War Machine Special One. Okay. Now, I run suicide, so I usually don't want to fire off uh, my specials. Uh, but we'll see how this goes. We'll just keep going here. Teamwork. Uh, War Machine's pre fight abilities give him a new way to help buff his fellow tech attackers. War Machine has a sizable amount of defensive combat power rate. Uh, down with his special one. So combat power rate, uh, combat, uh, combat, combat power rate has to do with how much power you generate during combat when you're getting hit and you're hitting them. Okay, so that's a little bit of power control there that we're talking about. Stack it to the max, then refresh them with his heavy attack to keep his uh, opponent's power under control. Now, there's also a despair mastery. The more debuffs you have on your opponent, the less they're going to heal. Well, max out despair, and it's looking like he's going to be a very strong power control champion. All right, his weaknesses. Um, yeah, if they shrug off their debuffs, because, of course, he seems to be dependent on his uh, debuffs, um, the, uh, particularly these armor breaks. Now, what's interesting is he's tech. You know that Colossus is armor break immune, except when he's fighting a tech. So that means this is going to be a very nasty counter to Colossus. We didn't really need a big counter to Colossus, but here he is. Um, he's got a good amount of damage and his rupture debuffs. However, opponents with high physical resistance are going to greatly lower that damage. Okay. And then uh, here you've got uh, his abilities, always active. He's going to start with an indefinite armor up buff. Good counter to uh, Havoc. Um, and that increases his armor rating by quite a bit. But I'm assuming that can be nullified. So Claire, take him out. Uh, War Machine begins each quest with two persistent charges. Okay. And they can be spent. So similar to like uh, Guillotine 2099 or... Um, Apocalypse, anyone that has pre-fight. Uh, so let's see. Can be spent, okay, to activate one or more armory boosts. So we, we want to see these armory boosts. What's his pre-fight abilities? Each boost lasts one fight, doesn't stack, and can be used by War Machine or other tech champions. Oh, only one fight. So um, the other pre-fights that I'm used to generally last the entire quest, and you can't reapply them to anyone else uh so let's let's see winning a fight with war machine grants one charge plus an additional one charge for each 
other hero on a uh, champion on his team. Okay. I'm starting to see how you might want to uh, put together a team of all heroes with a uh, war machine. All right. So here's his pre-fight ability. Tech attackers gain plus 10% attack rating when an armory boost is active. All right. Uh, so that's just in general, anytime one of these are active. So here's the actual boosts. Support, gain two cleanse charges. When champions cleanse, with cleanse are effect... <laughs> Sorry, guys. Uh, it's early in the morning and I haven't even eaten yet. Uh, gain two cleanse charges when champions with cleanse are inflicted with a debuff. It is immediately purified and a cleanse charge is removed, and they get two. Does that make all tech champions now suicide friendly? Hmm. Will it cleanse those? That should be interesting. When will that go into effect? Because if it if it applies too early, then it's not going to remove the uh, debuffs from suicide. So that's a good thing to test out when we do get our hands on the champion. Fortify, gain energy resistance equal to their armor rating. Not bad, good for fighting those energy-based uh, attackers. I'm looking at you, Magneto. Um, I also believe, um, you know, of course, uh, we don't really see her that often, but magic, uh, that limbo, that's energy damage. Uh, the next one is Skirmish. Gain up to 276 attack rating based on current armor rating and their debuffs, excluding stuns, gain 20% duration. Okay, so you can't get longer stuns, but you'll get longer armor breaks or any other debuffs that you may put. And I'm just wondering what you can do because you have many different pre-fights available to your champions, you know? You could put pre-fights from Odin, perhaps pre-fights from War Machine, combine it with some pre-fights from someone else. I, I'm, I'm wondering. There, there's some very interesting uh, synergies, I think, uh, that are yet to be discovered, but we'll see. All right, War Machine's pre-fight provides great utility for different spots, okay, around the contest. I love using the clench charges in a matchup where I know there will be some debuffs. I need to get rid of ASAP. Okay, we're still going to try to see if they uh, get rid of the uh, suicides. All right, heavy attack refreshes all personal debuffs. Woo! Excluding stun, so you can't stun lock them into oblivion. Um, all right, count. Uh, uh, cooldown is 20 seconds. Okay. Um, special attacks, auto, auto attacking. Oh, boy. They can't evade. That's going to make him real annoying on defense. Well, no, they, they actually removed one node because I was thinking of a node in AQ. They removed him, but it was like an unblockable special one. And that, no, 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 no. Um, but yeah, so we, we should be okay. But watch for that. You can't evade. But Ghost should still be able to deal with that because that's not an evade. That's, you know, phase. It's a miss. All right, so special one. Um, suppressing fire grants each shot a 100% chance to inflict a suppression debuff, reducing combat power rate. So when you're firing this special one off, they're not going to be getting a lot of power from that special one like they normally would. Um, this effect applies on blocked hits, so they can't even block it to get rid of it. Wow. To avoid that, yeah. For each armor break debuff, each shot has a 60% chance to inflict a rupture. Ooh. So he's got some nasty physical damage over time. Okay. And those ruptures uh, based on the armor break. So now I see why they're saying build up the armor breaks and then go to town after a special three and then spam the special ones. Okay. Can't wait to get my hands on him uh, on the uh, test server. Each suppression debuff supplies applied. Also receives one prowess. Oh, from the opponent. Okay, removes one prowess. Okay, so if you're fighting somebody that has prowess buffs, it'll remove one of them. Okay, I don't really see that one being 
crazy useful, but you never know. And here we go, the dev notes. I normally try to pair this special attack with both the Fury from the special three, uh-huh, and the debuff refresh from his heavy attack to get as much damage as possible from the special one. Uh, yep, that's what I saw. Okay, shoulder artillery, that's his special two. 100% chance to inflict an armor break debuff, removing an armor up buff and reducing armor rating. Ooh, okay. And you can do that two times, stack it two times. The core of War Machine's kit. Most of his abilities will gain bonuses based on the number of armor breaks on the opponent. Make sure to stack as many as you can. Okay. Fair enough. And it, and it lasts for 30 seconds. That's a long time. All right. And in special three, 100% uh, chance to inflict a stun debuff lasting 3.5 seconds. Okay. Gain a fury passive increasing attack rating. All right. And each armor break on the opponent will grant an additional Fury passive. Yeah, that's why they're doing that. It is possible for War Machine to deal tons of damage when you've got a few armor breaks stacked up. You'll be seeing some big yellow numbers after a well-used Special 3. I can't wait. Now, something I want to mention real quick. When you see them say 100% chance, and you may wonder, why don't they just say it will inflict a stun debuff for 3.5 seconds, for example? Why do they say 100% chance to inflict? That's because you have nodes and ability reduction that will take that 100% lower. So, or, or it might even take it higher. Uh, but that's why it's expressed as an expression, uh, as a percentage, not just a definite, because depending on what they're going up against, they may it may not, you know, they may be able to avoid that stun if they reduce their chance. All right, here's the signature ability. Um, all right, looks like he has, you know, below 15% activates his empty clip. We remember that one. Uh, to do the following, he gains 12 Fury passives. Wow, and they're passives. No Black Widow Clairvoyant can't get rid of them. That's not good. Uh, but each, you know, increasing his attack rating, 12, wow. What is that? Oh, man. I was about to do some napkin math. Um, that's a lot of rating. That's a lot of attack rating. That's what, over 4,000 maybe? Don't quote me on that. Um, you, you guys do the math. Uh, these effects are lost as War Machine lands in, uh, lands attacks. Okay. So, but if, if you're low, he'll take you out. Uh, gain 12 regeneration passives okay so he's also going to heal and as long as he doesn't get hit wow okay yep dev notes the tried and true empty the clip a fresh look to a classic uh ability i was going to tell you that that you know we, we we're familiar with that but that's a much better empty the clip than what we have right now all right and we're not going to go over all of these here these are his synergies Silver Surfer, Gamora, Heimdall, Hulk Buster, Guardian, Silver Warrior, uh, Falcon, Night Thrasher, Winter Soldier. Uh, let me let me take a look, because I, I also look at who he has a synergy with and how likely am I to bring them along with me on a team with him. All right, so you guys can see here, I'm just looking. Shock in the center, okay. More damage, perfect block chance. Okay. Crit rating. All right. So I don't really see this one here. The Fortify uh, may uh, be useful, uh, but we'll have to see. We'll have to see um, how that goes. Recommended Masteries. Collar Tech. Who uses Collar Tech? I know some people use Collar Tech. I've never used Collar Tech. Uh, and Despair, didn't I mention it earlier? While he might not have it in his base kit, War Machine has a ton of debuffs, so Despair will help a ton in healing matchups. I called it. I called it. All right. That was War Machine. On to the next. Next one, Ebony Maw. He already got a, a rework, and it wasn't that good. So I'm very excited to see what they're going to be doing to him. And again, 
it's going to be, if I remember right, these were uh, value updates, but I think they did a little bit more. It was supposed to be a value update, but I think they did more than that. All right, so, you know, here's his uh, base stats and abilities, okay? And to be honest, I don't play Ebony Maw, just like most of you probably don't, um, but he is so smooth to play. And I have him as a six star, so I'm very excited. Um, all right, so Power Steel, yep, Degen, Falter, Nullify. Uh, if you are familiar with uh, Ebony Maw already, all of this is um, familiar to you. Let's see. One Slippery, yep. Yep, that Falter, it can wreck you so bad. It's, it's what makes fighting him so annoying. Uh, degeneration, okay. His updated kit now deals even more degeneration damage. So one of the biggest issues with Ebony Maw is the damage. He does very low damage. It looks like they're going to be fixing that. Maximize it with bonus degeneration on the special two and deal some massive damage. I can't wait. Really, if, if all we had was that, I'd be fine. That'd be it. That's all. I, he really just needed more damage. All right, his weaknesses, anti-miss. If he can't make the opponent miss, yeah, obviously. Um, and non-damaging debuffs, he'll have a significantly harder time keeping his focus if you can knock him down while he has non-damaging debuffs applied to him. All right. And then these are his uh, abilities. I, I don't know what they have changed. So someone else will probably do like a comparison video. We're just going over uh, his kit as it stands now. The increased damage, that's the big budget item. All right, his first light attack is the only base hit to make contact. Okay, if the opponent doesn't have class advantage, Ebony Maw causes all guaranteed crit hit to miss. That, that seems the same. All right, there are his missions. Uh, that seems to be about the same. Missions are key to uh, Ebony Maw dealing some massive damage. Make sure to complete them every, uh, complete them all every chance you get. Okay. Lending a heavy attack steals all the opponent's power gain buffs and 10% of their current power. That looks familiar. Becomes focused after seven seconds. Uh, some of these may be different. I, I remember reading that this this changed a little bit, like how fast he became focused. I think this has changed. This time is doubled while suffering from a non-damaging debuff. So it takes longer for him to become focused after you knock him down or put a non-damaging debuff on him. All right, so... Let's uh let's just keep going. Let's see every 20. Yeah, we'll we'll probably do a more in-depth uh look at his abilities once we have the champion uh updated and we can actually play around with him and and see. Okay. And and like I said, I don't know uh how much has changed here um except for the values and more damage. All right, so you guys can see here, no bus with nullified, okay. Um, let's see here, each hit, yep, yep. See, a lot of this looks familiar to me, but I'm not 100% familiar with all of his kit. All right, here we go. Signature ability, when the opponent misses an attack, they're affected, okay, degen. So you really want him uh, awakened for more damage. Uh, while the opponent is suffering from a falter, their auto block uh, ability accuracy is reduced by 100%. See what I was telling you earlier with War Machine, why they say 100% rather than just saying it does it? Well, here you go. You may have 100% chance to auto block, but he just removed, uh, reduced it by 100%. You got no auto block anymore. Okay. And gains 40% ability power rate. So it looks like his awakened ability is a nice ability to have awakened. I don't know if I would say it was necessary unless you're going up against uh, auto block champions. Then you got to kind of have it. 
All right, and here are the synergies. Again, we're not gonna go into them here. Let's see, oh my percent. Gain a true damage, okay. And let's see, critical rating, critical rating. Gain more attack when you have falter, okay. Which is more damage. Okay. Yep, yep, yep. All right. Mystic Dispersion, of course. Most Mystics benefit from Mystic Dispersion. Not always. Um, but if you want to have someone, uh, if you want to have more control, you don't want to give them too much power too quickly. So you don't want Mystic Dispersion to be all the way up there. But if it's somebody uh, that needs to fire off special threes a lot, yeah, you want Mystic Dispersion. Uh, and willpower. Uh, I recommend getting willpower no matter what. Uh, I always have willpower, not just because I run suicides. Even when I didn't, I ran willpower. At least one point in it, okay? One of uh, Ebony Maw's biggest weaknesses are debuffs, in particular non-damaging. Yep. So willpower will give him some uh, healing back. So, okay. All right. So that's Ebony Maw. We have to wait and see how good the damage is, because that's really what we're looking for right here, is the damage. And there may have been a few little tweaks to some of his abilities that I didn't catch, um, but we'll find that out uh, a little bit later. All right, and the final one, Ultron. Now, Ultron is an OG, OG, uh, just like War Machine, actually. Um, if you saw one of my uh, more recent uh, crystal openings, you saw that I awakened my six-star Ultron. And that's why I wasn't that upset, because I knew that Ultron was going to be getting a rework, didn't know what they were going to do, but I was tentatively hopeful. So let's see what uh, we got. Uh, Ultron also just needs more damage, um, but let's see what they do. All right, and I do have the six star. And he also has over 13,000 uh, PI, okay. This is gonna be interesting. I don't know if they're tech, uh, if they are now prestige options for me, uh, but we'll see. We'll see how it uh, all plays out. All right, let's see. And he doesn't have that much in his kit, all right? Immune, yeah, he was already immune. Uh, he can apply some massive bleed damage, yep. And against mutants, even degen, yeah. He was good against Cable. You know, love fighting him against Cable. All right, here we go. Anti-evade. To maximize Ultron's power, you'll want to activate all of his functions. Functions? He's got functions now, including the evade. Watch out for anyone that can shut it down. Okay, so he can be shut down. All right, uh, advanced uh, robotics causes Ultron's function abilities to have a 100% chance to trigger and to be unaffected by ability accuracy. So you can't reduce his function abilities, not all his abilities, but his function abilities. And we'll talk about that. Um, and additionally, he's immune to bleed, poison, and slow effects. Okay, I don't remember if he was before or not. Um, I know bleed and poison, but I don't remember slow. Uh, I don't even know if slow was in the game when Ultron first came out. So interesting. All right. Here's one of his functions. Evade every seven seconds. Evade all incoming attacks for 1.5 seconds. Now, let me tell you why I like this. I always hated fighting Ultron because uh, not, not the... Um, Labyrinth of Legends Ultron, the one that you get from there. Um, what do you call him? A classic Ultron? I don't know. But he already did this. And I'm assuming this is, let me look at the picture. Well, I don't have the picture here. Um, but I believe it's the uh, other Ultron, uh, not the age of, uh, man, I can't remember uh, how to call, uh, how to say each one of them. Um, but one of them I liked fighting because he always evaded on a timer so you could predict his evade the other ultron which i think is this one here um because the other one does 
poison, not bleed damage. Uh, but this one would evade just whenever he felt like it, it looked like, you know? So this is making him more like the other Ultron. So he's only going to do it every seven seconds. So that's nice. Uh, oh, look at this. Dev note, Ultron's evade now has an icon to display it. Thank you. Making it easier to track when it will trigger. Thank you. But we've also increased the duration. Boo. Nah, just kidding. Um, when health drops below 50 and 25%. Okay. So I'm loving that icon because I had to keep track in my head. When I'm fighting the other one, basically, I just have to remember, okay, we've, we've gone about seven. So he's about to evade. So I'll just do a one attack. So you had to keep track of it yourself. I'm liking that icon. All right, here's his heal. Once per fight, he's going to heal over 10 seconds. That's a lot of health. I don't know if that's increased, but that's a lot of health. Um, if stunned while self-repair is active, connection is lost. Okay. Uh, but I, yeah, I don't know if he's increased his health healing or not, but wow. All right, here's um, another function. Remember, all of these functions... They can't reduce, okay? Um, critical, every fifth hit is a guaranteed crit. So that should help his damage. Uh, function damage, every third attack uh, inflicts a bleed debuff, causing direct damage over six seconds. Okay. And if the target is mutant, instead inflict a matching degeneration. Wow. Okay. Those pesky mutants uh, champions won't be able to slip away from uh, Ultron's damage over time. Yeah, it's gonna be either a bleed or a degen. Interesting. All right, blocking, another function, armor. Every fourth blocked attack grants an armor up buff. I like it. That will help against the little um, chip damage that you're always taking when the AI decides to just unload a full five hit combo into your block for some reason. Okay, well-timed blocks count as four blocked attacks. Parry away, and you're going to be getting these armor-ups. Uh, and I'm assuming, let's see. Yeah, I, I don't think it stacks. I'm not sure on that. Uh, that's a thing that I will test, I guess. Uh, heavy attack triggers the function damage for each unique function. Oh, Ultron has utilized during the fight. Wow. Okay, okay. That can be strategic. Looks like Ultron's gonna be a little bit more fun to fight with. All right, launch a special attack. Uh, Cauterize, yeah, remove all effects from the opponent caused by Ultron's function damage and then gain attack for each effect. Ooh, remove this wave for the duration of the special attack. Okay, pair this with a special, a well-timed special two and heavy attack to get a massive amount of bleed damage or fury. I was already there. I was already thinking about it. Okay. All right, his special one inflicts a stun for two seconds, nice. Again, that's a function, can't be reduced. All right, uh, the attack bonus granted by function cauterize lingers for 10 seconds. This is his special attack too, uh, after this attack is finished. Any function, damage debuffs triggered during this attack are doubled Woo. okay make sure to time this well with when your next function damage will trigger okay okay uh special three eradication you got function stun it's going to inflict a stun debuff now you notice here it doesn't say 100 percent. it just says inflict a stun debuff that lets you know they are deliberate in what they're saying because he can't have his functions reduced. So there's no point in saying 100% because you can't reduce it. So uh, function burn inflicts a power burn. Nice. Draining two bars of power. I can't remember if it already did that or not. I don't remember. But that's some really nice power control right there. And deals direct damage to the power drain. So if you push them to a special three and fire off your special three, oh, I can't wait. All right, signature ability absorption, uh, attacks that deal energy damage, cause Ultron to regenerate 
uh, 65% of the damage dealt to him. That's only energy. Uh, also grants him a burst of power. Okay, so he's going to be gaining more power. Incoming, incinerate, and shock suffer 80% uh, duration reduction. So I'm not sure how much my awakened Ultron, uh, how much his signature ability really is going to help because it looks like it's only it's similar it's what was there before i believe um they may have tweaked the numbers some but it's going to help him fight against those that do energy damage so i'm not sure i don't know i wouldn't say that he needed to be awakened at this point in time but maybe there's something i'm missing you know obviously against energy attacks you know if you're fighting an opponent that does a lot of energy attacks um, the signature ability is going to come in hand, uh, handy. Same thing with incinerate and shock. It's going to come in very, very handy. All right. So not a useless ability by any means, but I don't see it as something that you're going to be needing or that's going to be useful all the time. All right. Synergy bonuses, crit damage, more health, crit rating. Okay. Each armor up also reduces incoming stun. Okay, that could do... Okay, it's Ultron Prime. That's what they're calling the other Ultron. Okay. So, Ultron Prime. I think... Did they change that? Because that's not what we used to call them anyway. But anyway, yeah. Ultron Prime. Uh, that that could be useful. Uh, <laughs> my beautiful Meteor. Okay. Uh, the Cauterize now lingers for additional seven seconds after the special attack is over. Okay. Additionally, while function cauterize is active, the opponent is passively heal block. I see that being useful. And what I'm looking at here is vision, classic. He's already a power control champion. So if you need power control um, and heal block, you've got all of that on the same team. So he can do your power control. He also has a heal block on his special two. Add him to the team. If you're going up as somebody that's going to heal and you need to really control their healing and their power so yeah I, I see i see something good there all right activating function critical also activates function damage whoa okay um wait a minute wait a minute wait a minute i i, I misspoke it looks like ultron prime is this ultron i still don't know what the other ultron uh, is called. Um, I guess they're just going to call him Ultron. And this one's Ultron Prime. Because um, I was just looking at that and I'm like, wait a minute. This is not uh, the other Ultron. This is this Ultron. All right. Um, let's see. Oh boy. Double Edge and Liquid Courage. Those are the Suicide Masteries, in case you didn't know. Yep. I already know it. Deep Wounds. I already have it maxed. So I'm already set for uh using this ultron all right guys that's gonna do it uh thank you for watching this first look at the new uh reworks and uh i am looking forward to actually testing these guys out we don't have them just yet um or at least i don't have them just yet i need to check i don't believe we've been given those on the uh test server uh but i haven't tested them out haven't played around with them uh but that's what it's looking like uh, my thoughts right now, I am tentatively hopeful. It looks like all of them are going to be quite a bit better and more useful than they were. And of course, uh, Ultron Prime being uh, suicide friendly, he was already. Um, but the more damage, because that was the one thing that I really didn't like about Ultron was the low damage. Uh, that seems to be addressed. We'll see how much damage he actually can do when we get our hands on the champion. So War, Ma War Machine, Ultron, Ebony Maw. Let's find out how good they are. Uh, see you in the next video. Take care. Click like, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day.